Good morning, Queen Anne's County. Happy Friday and welcome to your Roar Report. I'm your host, Rebecca, and I'm here with Patricia, who's going to tell us the weather today. Today there will be a high of 73 and a low of 48. If you could not tell, it's very foggy out. Now over to Lizzie with lunch. Hey guys, your lunch special today is going to be a chicken bacon ranch flatbread with uh, grilled broccoli. Your other options include grilled cheese, hamburgers, chicken patties, uh, cheeseburgers, pizzas, salads, subs, and don't forget about your sort of fruits, vegetables, and low-fat milk on the side. Back to the desk. Any senior interested in being a student page for the upcoming session of the Maryland General Assembly should sign up in guidance before Monday, November 7th. There is one student selected per county for this honor. FBLA will be running their highly competitive food drive competition through from Monday, November 7th through Friday, November 11th. The winning class with the most food items will receive a Chick-fil-A breakfast, and the official count will happen first period on Friday, November 11th. Now over to Bob with sports. Good morning, Queen Anne's County. It's sporting news. The men's cross-country team is moving on to state competition on November 12th. Congratulations. After an excellent team performance yesterday at the regional race, and we're going to show a video. The person in the video, his name is Matt Steffens. He's a three-time varsity wrestler, four-time varsity football player, four-time varsity lacrosse player, valedictorian of his graduating class, attended the Naval Academy and played lacrosse there. So we're going to show that video right now. Hi team, I'm Matthew Steffens and I was class of 2010 out of Queen Anne's County High School. I initially joined the wrestling team to have something to do between football and lacrosse and ended up liking it way more than I thought I would at the start. Being a part of the Queen Anne's County wrestling team meant that you were part of a group that was pushing themselves and each other uh, to be better every day on the mat, in life, and also in the classroom. I had a lot of fun and I'm still in touch with some of my former wrestling teammates to this day. Later on in life, uh, playing Division I lacrosse at the Naval Academy, the military training that I went through, and since then in real life, I have found myself leaning on my wrestling experience, specifically uh, the trials and tribulations that we went through at practice to push myself through some of my more trying experiences. They have been beyond valuable to me, and I would highly recommend joining the wrestling team to anybody whether you're trying to keep in shape for another sport, give wrestling a whirl, or just prepare yourself for life later on. Good luck. If any of you guys are interested in wrestling, our open mats are November 6th, the 13th, on both Sundays from 10 to 11.30, and a girls only open mat for you ladies interested is November 11th, Friday, right after school, 2.30 to 4.30. Remember, this does not mean you're like, committed to it. This is just for you to try it, so might as well give it a shot. In other sports news, Why High versus Us in the Den, 5 o'clock, blackout, be there and be loud. Back to the desk. Science National Honor Society members will be available for science-specific tutoring in study hall Tuesdays and Thursdays this week. SNHS members, stop by Mr. Jofie's room to sign up for time slots. This is a reminder, if you have lost or misplaced an item, please check the lost and found table in the cafeteria during your lunch break. Special shout out to Haley Tripp. Happy birthday, everyone. Wish her happy birthday. That's all for your report today. Have a great day.